Hi, it's Carlotta from Team Dryo. Do you need to create a customer journey visualization without access to complicated design software? Today, I'm going to give you five tips on how to visualize your customer journey, even without a background in design. Head over to your Confluence page and open up Dryo. Let's assume I've already done all of my research and know the content of the customer journey. With all of this information, I've created the foundation of my diagram, but it's not quite done yet. Let's finish it together with the help of some tips to keep in mind. My first tip is to use language that is easy to understand and makes sense in the context of the customer journey. It is also helpful to use information that is important to your company or the people who are work with the diagram. In my diagram, I tried to minimize the number of words for each section and only focus on the most important aspects. This makes it much easier to understand and doesn't overwhelm the user at first sight. The next tip is to use specific shapes and colors for each part of your journey and to stay consistent with these choices. As you can see, I used a different shape for each step. Now let's fill in the colors. This way, users can easily get a good overview of the whole diagram and keep their focus on one segment at a time. You could even incorporate your company's colors to match the corporate design, but don't overdo it with the color or shape selection. Why? Let's find out with tip three. Less is more, especially in a complex diagram like the customer journey diagram. Try to avoid overwhelming the user and stick to as few variations as possible while still separating each topic visually. As you can see in this diagram, I kept the color and shape variations to an absolute minimum. You can also minimize information using links. With the help of links, you can give the user access to more information without cluttering your diagram. Simply click on the shape you want to add the link to. Navigate to the Edit Link button and click on it. This will bring up a second window. Now you can add the desired link to the Link to Text field at the top. After publishing your diagram and your Confluence page, you can click on any linked shape and you will be guided right to the desired external website or internal Confluence page. Now everyone can access information that is important to their individual role without cluttering your diagram. The fifth and final tip is to remember that your customer journey diagram is a constant work in progress. You will have to go back and adapt it to new information regularly. That's why Dryo is so helpful. With only a few clicks, you can make a number of changes, and once published, everyone has access to the most recent version. I hope you have fun visualizing your customer journey with these tips and tricks. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our weekly content. See you next week.